When used and maintained properly, traction aids can help maneuver in adverse terrain or steep slopes. However, care must be taken in selecting traction aids to correctly match the equipment to the tires, terrain, and application. Not every tire is suited to every traction aid brand or design. Also, there are certain traction aid configurations that can damage your tires and the drivetrain system. For these reasons, all traction aids must be Tiger Cat factory approved before installation. Your Tiger Cat dealer will help you through this process. Failure to obtain approval could potentially cause serious damage to your machine and tires and result in the denial of warranty claims. In addition to dual tire configurations, there are three main types of traction aid hardware chains, wheel tracks, and band tracks. All of these options add weight to the machine, resulting in higher fuel consumption. Let's dive into each of these traction solutions. It's important that the chains are correctly sized and installed to avoid tire damage. Wheel chains add significant weight to the machine and do not increase the machine's footprint. The added weight results in higher ground pressure and may cause increased ground disturbance. Wheel tracks, like chains, install around a single wheel. Wheel tracks meaningfully alter the rolling circumference of the wheel. The increased circumference, along with the additional weight of a wheel track, reduces maximum tractive effort and increases fuel consumption. Wheel tracks must install tightly on the tire. Deflating the tire slightly before installing the track can help tighten the track to the outside surface of the tire when the air pressure is then increased to the correct operating pressure. This provides additional support for both the track bars and the sidewalls of the tires. Band tracks are designed to install on bogey-style axles. They add significant weight to the machine, increasing fuel consumption, but also increase footprint. This can potentially reduce both ground pressure and soil disturbance. Band tracks are designed to fit specific tire sizes and brands. Care must be taken to ensure compatibility between the tracks and tires. When fitted correctly, there will be limited slippage between the track and the tires. Excessive slippage over a prolonged period could damage the tires, so check the fit periodically according to manufacturer instructions. A properly sized track shoe for a given tire will have sufficient clearance, approximately 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch gap on each side of the tire between the sidewall of the tire and the track guides. Too little clearance will cause excessive wear on the sidewall of the tire. Correctly tensioned tracks should have 40 to 70 millimeters or 1.5 to 2 and 3 quarter inches of sag between the tires. If the track tension is too low, the track could walk off the tires. If track tension is too high, running over obstacles could cause damage to the bogey structure, planetary bearing, and gears. Differential locks should be used sparingly when using band tracks. Operating differential locks in favorable terrain conditions will cause the differential locks to slip while traveling through a turn. This will increase wear on the differential lock clutches. Maintaining correct tire pressure. Forestry machines operate in extreme conditions, so tires must be properly maintained to avoid premature wear, as well as catastrophic and costly failures. The most important factor in tire maintenance is ensuring you maintain correct tire pressure. Tiger Cat's Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, is an effective tool in monitoring tire pressure. TPMS displays a detailed warning message for the operator via the Machine Control System touchscreen interface. In addition, the TPMS system for Tiger Cat skidders, forwarders, and harvesters now integrates with remote log telematics. If TPMS detects that the pressure of any tire is out of range, a warning message is sent to the machine owner through the remote log interface. Remote log maintains tire pressure warning history, logging all out-of-spec occurrences. For machines without TPMS, it is important to check tire pressures on a daily basis. Operating an under-inflated tire reduces the torque and load carrying capacity and may result in damage or slippage between the tire and rim. Tire slippage on the rim will tear the valve stem on the tube and permanently damage the tire bead. 
it may also damage the rim knurling. Underinflation can also cause excessive heat buildup. This could lead to sidewall, bead, or lining damage when driving over obstacles. Again, it is essential to maintain the correct inflation pressures. Refer to the tire pressure chart in the operator's manual. Required inflation pressures are also printed on the tire sidewall. Traction aid configurations. Here are some general traction aid guidelines. Again, due to the wide variety of tires and traction aids, as well as other important factors, it's essential to work with your dealer to obtain factory approval for your specific configuration prior to the installation of any traction aids. For four-wheel skidders and feller bunchers, the best configurations are identical chains on all four tires, or identical wheel tracks on all four tires. For six-wheel skidders and harvesters, there are several possible configurations, including chains on the axle and band tracks on the bogey axle, no traction aid on the axle and band tracks on bogey axle, chains on axle and wheel tracks on bogey axle, no traction aid on the axle and wheel tracks on bogey axle. However, wheel tracks are never permitted on the axle when band tracks or wheel tracks are applied to the bogey axle. For eight-wheel harvesters and forwarders, the best configurations are identical wheel chains on all eight wheels, or four sets of identical band tracks. A couple other important points. Tiger Cat does not permit the addition of water in the tires. This practice has the potential to overload the axles. Dual tire installations are considered to be a traction aid. Factory approval is required to ensure a valid machine warranty. To prevent overloading the wheel bearings and dual tire configurations, the outer wheel must be smaller in diameter than that of the inner tire. Contact your Tiger Cat dealer for more details.